everybody. Hello. We are here on the second day, second day at the Alani Resort. Yeah, we're chilling today because we have the luau tonight. We're going to go grab a bite to eat. Uh, don't know if we're going to be here on the property or go down to maybe the ABC. We'll take a little bit of the ABC maybe. Right, they have other eating food. options just right across the street mm -hmm. from the resort. So but we're, we're going to eat early, out. huh, baby? Yeah, we'll go check that yeah. out. And uh, this is along the walkway on the left side of the Alani, which is yes. right there. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice walkway, nice and flat. Yes, it Good, is. Great morning walk. It is, and it's uh, for through the resorts that are beachside. So a lot of these resorts in Ko'olina, they're all beachside, mm -hmm. and it's just an easy walking uh, uh, path sure. that you can go right through the resorts, and you don't even know how long you walk because you just. It's just so nice outside and oh, it's yeah. just beautiful. And uh, you know, early this morning, we had a little Hawaiian breakfast. We did, we yeah. did. So uh, I'll show you a picture right in the corner. Mm -hmm. That's our fresh Hawaiian papaya and yes. lemon. Yeah, so Auntie Nancy at home, she's always looking for Hawaiian papaya on the mainland, but yeah, never can it, find it's any. It's not it's the same, find, yeah. not the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, uh, it's a very traditional uh, quick breakfast. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. right. And oh, if you're wondering, well, if you see in other videos why people wear wristbands, Every day you need to get a wristband if you're staying here at the Alani to use the pool and, and to get eat. towels or and, whatever. And get towels and eat. And every day you can you get a different color wristband. Right. I know a lot of people have all their different colors. We cut them off, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. And we just wear the like today is pink day. That's right. And so yeah, because we got these last night. We did. We did. Yeah. And there was something else too. I forgot. I don't it's remember. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll think of it later. Yes. Okay, let's so, go uh, finish yeah. walking and go have some lunch, babe. Yes, I'm getting hungry. Right there, you can see the disturbance in the water. There's no one. Yep, and nothing is on. Nobody is on this side, so they're just swimming around. We are on our way to the ABC store. Right behind me is the Elani. Right across the street is the little Ko'olina sign right now. It's so cute. And right now it is Christmas time. So there's a little wreath there. Nicely decorated, different little wreath there. And here is the shopping center. Yes, right across the railroad tracks. Yeah. Hit the ABC right across from Alani. They really step up their game in their food. You can see that some of these are on sale already, probably because they have an hour time span. So they're all made fresh daily, but maybe they're only supposed to be here maybe for two hours, so they put that 20% sticker on. Yeah, the, the regular price for the Gustavi is two dollars and thirty-nine cents, but some of these are marked 20% off. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a local moco. Your regular. Portuguese right. sausage and egg. Wow. Yeah. This is some good stuff. And over here you have some uh, corned beef hash and eggs. Look at that up there. That's what some look like maybe spam and some uh, cheese. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. like an omelet, right? Yeah. And look, they have gyoza or pot stickers. And have more stuff on the other side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the place, especially if you don't find a lot of options over at Alani or any of the resorts that are here. This is a place where you can get some really good food. At a good deal. At a good deal. What? They got prime rib too. Look at that. Of course, yeah, fried, fried chicken, chicken. and uh, malasadas. Yes, mochi malasadas. Here's their pokey selection. It's a little bit frosted in the glass, but they have the spicy ahi, oyster sauce ahi. Yeah, so it's all your great typical selection edanames and over here you have some salads so you could definitely make up your own meal and pizza these are ready to go right yeah of course sandwiches yeah. salads very japanese they have like a half tuna half yeah. egg almost like regular uh, japanese sandals yeah you're just missing the katsu sandwich mm -hmm. over here and your regular ones here but yeah, a lot of selections yeah, here. Yeah, a lot of stuff in here. This is not like your everyday ABC store. So you know you see them a lot on Lake Kiki. Uh, ABC, this is much more of the echelon of the ABC store. Yeah, but so... You can get a great meal at a great price. Not only is it prepared food, but yes. they have full grocery that you could uh, make yourself inside the yes. room. Mm -hmm. 
They have a lot of pre-made salads and, and fruit already cut. Yeah, you can come over here. You can save a, a few bucks, get this stuff and take it back. So we're gonna get some stuff and take it back to the Ella. This is what we're gonna have for lunch here at the resort. We're gonna go for the fish and chips and the coconut breaded shrimp. These are the other items. Here we go. Go ahead when you're ready. Okay. Mama snack shop, we got the fish and chips and the coconut breaded fried shrimp. Look at that. It's a good size shrimp, and so you can it see is. all that toasted coconut mm -hmm. all over it, like glistens. They got some sweet uh, chili sauce right here. And they have like a 15 different sauces you can pick and as many as you oh, need. Oh, look at that. It's glistening. Here we go. How's that, babe? It's pretty good. That's a good coconut fried shrimp. Wow. Not dried out, not chewy. It's cooked perfectly. And it's like a shrimp that's maybe butterfly, huh, baby? I think so. Mm -hmm. I got to give you a little so. taste, babe. Oh wow, it's mm -hmm. a good one, right? Good flavor to that shrimp, and it still tastes like a shrimp, so it's not bland. I know, very crunchy, which is really yeah. nice. Oh yeah, slight coconut flavor. I'm gonna try out these fish and chips. Wow, again, four good sized pieces. Mm -hmm. It is hot. Yeah, so be careful, babe. It is hot. Look at that. Let's go for it. Ooh, I gotta let mine cool off just yeah. for a sec. I'll go for a dunk on mine. That crunchy bit right there. Oh yeah, hot. Mmm. Nice, hearty fish, babe. Is it? It's really good. Good, crunchy batter. That's pretty good. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I'm not sure what kind of fish it is, but I don't, I don't think it's cod. No. It might be a haddock, possibly. But great mm. white fish mm -hmm. flavor to it. Oh yeah. And what I like, it's very crispy. It deep fried nicely. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course the fries are just your standard fries. Oh. Yeah. It's a perfect afternoon snack lunch. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to tank up too much because of our blue out tonight. Right. And this is actually Christopher's and his. We got some stuff at ABC. So we'll show you what we got from ABC. Here's the Sando. This is the Sando. So I got the Sando from ABC. I was lucky to get the 20% off one because you know these are made fresh, but they probably have some sort of time that they have to sell these by. The 20% ones that we showed you for the Spamusubis, they were all gone. And so we got the regular Spamusubis, which you're going to try, huh, Yeah, I'll you're try, gonna try. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and first try this tuna one. Yeah, so you got tuna salad and egg salad, uh -huh. right? I'm going to try this tuna one here. Looks really good regular bread has a little bit of lettuce in there it has tuna in there you can see a little bit of the relish in there i think i need a little bit more mayo for this though but it's it's good and let's try this egg one full egg looks nice looks like only egg huh baby nothing yeah. else added into it Again, that's really soft. That's a good egg sando. This full on egg, nothing added to it. Not even salt and pepper. I believe it's just a plain egg and lettuce sando, but it doesn't need anything. I don't think I need any salt and pepper on it. This is really good as well. It's uh, a good alternative. Which one do you prefer, the tuna or the egg salad? Oh, the egg. The egg I actually prefer. I'm a, I'm a fish person, but I actually prefer the egg. And this sando, it was uh, $6.99, but I got my 20%, so it came up like $5.59 or something like that. Not bad for a quick little lunch. Got two different kinds of musubi from the ABC. We got one with the uh, furukake and egg, right? Mm -hmm. And this one was three dollars and 59 cents mm -hmm. and your regular standard spam was to be with just the spam only and that's two dollars and 39 cents 
So I'm gonna open these up and go for a taste test. Here we go, the regular OG a Spam Musubi. Looks like a lot of rice and thin Spam, baby. How is it? I like it. Yes, there is a little bit more rice than the Spam meat ratio, but it still has good flavor. The Spam itself doesn't taste overly salty like it usually does by itself. Maybe because it has a little layer of some teriyaki sweet glaze on it. So the combination of the teriyaki and the, the thinness of the Spam, it's really good. Yeah, not bad. So I got the Furukake rice egg Spam Musubi. Now the, this Spam, it is coated like with a terry sauce. I believe they fried it in a terry sauce before they stick it in the Musubi. Huh, baby? They fried yeah, it, it, right? Like it, yep. mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. This is a lot of rice, but it is perfect for this. It's a little bit on the sweet side, I believe, because of the terry. This really tastes like Portuguese sausage. Hey, you know what? It does spam. look like Portuguese sausage. No, I it think is. this is the Portuguese sausage one. Yeah, I think they're right. Yeah, Masubi. This is a Portuguese sausage. Masubi, not a Spam. Oh, that one looks I good. Know. To me, that is really good. Christopher is a big fan of Portuguese sausage, so his ears kind of perked up when I said Portuguese sausage one. This is really good. Not the spicy type Portuguese sausage. It's a very mild type. The rice is really cooked well, meaning it's not mushy. Sometimes when you get a masubi, especially if it's been sitting, it, the rice is a little bit mushy. This is really good. So our pork rinds with furukake, which is seaweed, is up in the room. We got these from ABC. This is shrimp chips with furukake. Look at these chips are big. You see all of that lovely seaweed in there. We're gonna go ahead. Look how big that shrimp chip is. It's bigger than your eye. It is. I know it's going to be nice and crunchy. Ooh. Whoa. Mmm. Good shrimp chip flavor. Furukake just gives it a little bit more of a taste to it. It doesn't need it, actually, because the shrimp chip is really good. And, and the perfect thing to wash it down is our beer which from we have the, a, yeah honolulu brew works we got some coconut heaven which is like a, a I think it was 285 a can yeah so something we thought like we that. just try this out yeah i'm gonna open this up thank you man stay jam here we go cheers oh great beer really light tasting I don't taste the coconut though, babe. I can taste that. I can taste that that hefeweizen, that little wheat portion of it, but I don't taste too much of the coconut. Easy drinking beer. It's gonna go perfect with my shrimp chip. Mm-hmm. By the shrimp chip. Oh yeah, matches perfectly. Ding. Trying out the dough whip. Oh, how do I do that it? Out. Yeah. See how it compares to uh, the one at Disneyland, right? Mm. Yeah, also sweet. Yeah, I'm going to go in for, <laughs> for another one. You can already tell how... And you can see how hot it is outside right now. The still whip is... Oh, look at melted. that. We got something else behind us. Yes. This so is good. the Moana Sunday. So same thing, dull whip. I'm going to eat it up and eat it because it's melting. And it has sprinkles, has a little mo chocolate Moana on there. And it has the uh, cone. It has like a little waffle cone. Okay. Try it out. Very refreshing. Yes. This one looks cool because it looks like a little volcano island, right? Mm -hmm. And the um, pineapple flavor isn't very heavy at all. This is delicious. And we gotta hurry up and eat it because it is melting. Yes. It's not extremely hot out here. It's humid, but it's in the sun, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the little Opihi Shack, the same place where we got the dough whip from, we got these white chocolate dipped pineapple spears. And I thought they sold them individually, but it's actually two per pack. So we got like a twofer. Look at that. Nice toasted coconut on top of that. Here we go. Let's try it out. Looks cold, baby. Mm -hmm. 
These are very cold. It's almost like a frozen banana when you bite into it. It's definitely hard and frozen. Great taste on that pineapple. You could tell that the coconut shavings on here, it adds a nice, small, slightly crunchy element to it. And it's not very sweet at all, even though it's white chocolate. It doesn't taste overly sweet. Yeah, these are, these are very good. And it's got a um, good weight to it too. So they're not like little spears. They got some great pineapple chunk spears here. So very good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Molly would really like them. Did you see Molly? I think he would. Really like He's around here somewhere. You know we can drink from Adam. Yes, yes. Oh, we've seen Molly around here. Did you really? Somebody else told me that you turned into one. That was probably really a good thing. You guys have good eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good eyes. Good eyes. What should we do? Should we go like this or like this? Yeah, I like it. Okay, you got it. Okay. Nene for the day. Bye. 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 That's a good sized koi fish. Eh? Yeah. It's kind of hard to like get a scale on how big they are, right? It is. It is. But uh, but they're at least like two feet in length. Yeah. And they're fat. Yeah. first went to another store over here which has a little bit more high-end stuff and now we're in the regular general store tons of stuff here this is also you're gonna get your waters and, and everything like that so kind of cool it's built for the season we it like is. it it's all christmas stuff look at that pineapple chewy candy and what do we have here like a spirit jersey, spirit jersey. yeah This, this is the back of the uh, spirit jersey, and mm -hmm. these are how much? 75? And they're normally 75 for the spirit jersey. I don't see a price on it, but it's normally 75. That's right 85. there. 85. Oh, 85. 80, 85. Yeah. We're on the way to the Luau now. We are. Yeah, yeah uh, cool. Leslie and Aaron are they're catching they're up. They're coming. Yeah. So uh, it's like a first come first serve seating from what we know. Yes, and it's 4.30 right now and we are the first ones here. Yeah, it yeah, starts at five, 5 o'clock. It does. We're the first ones, guys. We're the first ones. We're the oh, first ones. 5 10. Yeah, so uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the general seating goes here and you can scan your menu, see what it looks like. Here's Here the is menu. the menu for tonight. Mm -hmm. Here's a salad. Here are the entrees, there's the dessert, and even for the cakies, right here. That looks good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Thank you. So it is an open bar tonight. All the drinks are included. Uh, we do have other tropical drinks, beers, wine, sodas, and juices available okay, too, okay? Thank you. Here we go, okay, guys. Everybody. Cheers, in. Cheers. Yay. 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 What was it? Our coconut oh, yeah. rum, right? Coconut rum with uh, passion fruit guava. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like their pog with rum. Yeah, you know what? We got some great seats over here, too. We did. Here's our table, and here's a stage right here. So it does pay off to be the first in line for the general. Yes. Here are some of the activities before the luau starts. Here is 
taro pounding and then after you found your taro you can taste it over there they're making little bracelets out of orchids over there and I think oh, right behind you babe is a temporary tattoo okay yeah so we go walk over there or yeah. Yeah. let's do it yeah. go ahead and sit down baby let's see how this works yeah. out Right. Here you go, babe. Go ahead. Hey, I'll Hello. Yeah. I like your shirt. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Put it right on here and start doing what you're doing right now. All right, yeah. Yeah. So smash them. Yeah. So basically, what we're trying to do is try to make poi. This process takes about two to three hours long. Yeah. So you have two get, minutes. And we get <laughs> big arms like him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. I'm out here all day, pawning poi. No, I know. <laughs> Right out, babe. So here we go. Of course, these are already pounded. I've had this before, so I already know what to expect. But there's one thing missing, you know, when we eat koi. Yeah, this one is a little bit on the blander side, but usually you always put a little lomi lomi salmon with it, and that really um, Brings enhances out the, flavor. the flavor, right, of the koi. But when you eat it by itself, it is a little bit plain. But uh, for everyone else, try with the lomi lomi salmon, which is the um, the one that salmon that looks like salsa. Right? Yeah, it's not bad. Like, look at this tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, compare it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks pretty close. Close enough, yeah. <laughs> it's easier. I didn't make one, it's pre made. Reed, you want one too? Can I tie one on you? Yeah. Sure. Ahead, baby. Where are you folks visiting from? Los Angeles. I'll make every Very nice. Not too far. Nope. Yeah. Alright, if you want to take it off, pull the string, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you. There we go. Look, baby. We got it. We got matching ones. Yeah, we do, baby. the table one by one and we have two separate lines one from one side one for the other and we wait our turn it's not it's going very fast here we go I got one for the prime rib and one for the salad yeah we're kind of pros right here yeah. so you start out with some greens this is the papaya seed dressing it has I'm going to uh, save some for the mac salad see Leslie's got the right idea over there the mac salad. Yep, here's the mac salad, baby. Yep. Here we go. Are you enough, babe? Yes, perfect. And I'm going to get some uh, poke over there. Some more, babe? Yeah, a little bit more, babe. There All right, go. thank you. Welcome. Perfect. This is the lomi lomi salmon. This is what you're going to want with your poi. Yes. Yeah, you want some lomi lomi salmon, babe? Yeah, what I want to do is put it together in the bowl. So, there you go. yep, and then, there you go. and I'm going to put some of uh, poi. Oh, I see. That's how you eat it together. Yes. Oh. There we go. Like, so, a little bit done. You want some, babe? Yeah. Oh, you got it? <laughs> this is a uh, Okinawan sweet potato. Look at that. Babe, some sweet potatoes? You gonna fit everything on your plate, babe? Just a little bit of scoop. Let me get the, the other plate. Just a little Someone scoop. Come back and get the There you go, babe. Okay. Yep. Perfect. There you go. Oh, I got some nice uh, rolls right here. That. Uh, some cherry chicken. Right on the edge. I think it's steaming. Look at that. 
Yeah. Right next to the poke right there, yep. What happens here? Oh yeah, look at that. She's the one holding my plate for me. Yeah, if you can get one more. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That could be good. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, they have the aju over here. Aju? Yep. They have it here in the ladle. Come back for the dessert. Look at that, babe. You got three plates here. There we go. Where's like that? A, like a pro. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Look at this. This is a huge feast right here. We're gonna go straight in for the prime rib. Look at these cuts. Wow. So we got three. She said, like, you want three sizes? We go, sure. I'm not driving. Right? It's a perfect medium, huh, babe? It is. Dip into the uh, au jus a little bit. How's that look? Pretty good for a buffet, huh? That outer crust, aggressively seasoned, it's perfect. Like you said, perfect medium on this. Wow. This is uh, exceeds my expectations for a buffet prime rib. We've had some, as you know, from very uh, reputable buffets that were a lot less quality than this. Lock it off. So, this one blows it away. It's great primary. Do you know what kind of country of the day this is? This is like I don't, a, it didn't like say. Like a macadamia nut crusted fish. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. There we go right here. Nice and flaky. Almost like the cod, I'd say. This sauce that's on top isn't too aggressive as far as the cream and macadamia nut but it does add a nice little crunch element because of the nuts that's very good and since it's right next to it let me try the uh, ahi poke it's bad. I'm gonna have a hard time finding a poke that's not good here on the island it's really good of course, you gotta follow up the bucket with some regular white rice. Yeah. I'm gonna plan on attacking this thing. Maybe go back. Maybe. I'm gonna start off with the salad. Here is my lomi salmon with my poi. Of course, this is how you eat your poi with lomi salmon. Yeah. Little pearl chip. The poi is a very bland, so it matches well with this lomi salmon. What really comes out is the onions in this and it's just very creamy. Mm -hmm. The poi is your starch. This poi isn't sour or anything like that. It just matches perfectly with this lomi salmon. I also have some salad. Mm. Delicious. Oh, that salad right here. Salad. A little bit on the mayo side of it, but perfectly done. Now, yeah. this regular green salad is done with, what was it, um, I forgot what the dressing was. Was it a guava dressing? Or oh, papaya, papaya dressing. It's really sweet. I'll go ahead. It's going to be a big bite. Right and taro croutons. Mm -hmm. Great dressing. I'm not solid. It is sweet. Taro croutons. That's something different, huh? I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah. This is a delicious meal. I really like it. A little bit of the Kahlua pork right here. They said emo. E emo. Emu infused pork. Not emo. Emu infused pork. I'm glad we cleared that up. Mm -hmm. I love the smokiness on that pork. It really captures the smokiness flavor. And here is their terry chicken. 
Here's some cherry chicken. Very cherry flavor. Extremely moist. And of course, the fish. Yeah, see if you could uh, kind of ID that. It kind of tastes like a little bit cod like. It's a good fish. It's a hearty fish, not as opposed to sometimes you get a flaky fish. Really good hearty fish. You can't tell what type of fish it is though. Great flavor, buttery. I think it's an Ono fish. Mm. It's Ono. Stare up into the night sky. Kind of started on the dessert because it got kind of dark. It got kind of dark. So as the performance was coming on, we were just kind of digging in onto these desserts. This one is the halpia pie. This one is like a lilikoi type pie. This one I'm not sure. This one is a brownie, and of course the wide array of fruit. This so far since we dug in, we know the fruit is going to be fresh. The halpia tastes very coconut, which is perfect. Yeah. The lilikoi is delicious. Yeah. This okay. one tastes just sweet. I know I can't place the flavor of it, and I didn't try the brownie. How was the brownie? The uh, brownie I liked a lot. It's, yeah. a, it's a little bit on the sweet side, but I like the, uh, the little nuts on it. Yeah. It's very tasty. Yeah. So the desserts, except for this pink and white one, all the desserts are a winner. pictures with all the performers in the show. This is what you do with the uh, leftover leg. Oh, yeah. Put it on stitch. Here you go, stitch. Good job. It's right on the ears. <laughs> that wraps up the uh, luau here. Yes, that was just spectacular. It was. I would definitely see it again worth the money we thought it was uh, it's gonna be a little bit expensive mm -hmm. but worth every single penny recommend you recommend you guys going the food is very good yes the the entertainment is just stunning you're gonna love it the storytelling yeah. everybody is just very very just amazing yeah they're very passionate oh yeah right? you can tell they're very passionate of what they do they're yes. very into the the dancing the hula everything you're right and uh it's not overly disney at all no no In fact, not at all mickey and minnie only came out once yeah and yeah. that was it mm -hmm. and you know what i didn't miss them you know how sometimes it's like you're here at the elani and you want to see characters right. i didn't miss the characters right so i and really enjoyed it really in disney fashion yes they are a they are a master at storytelling yes i thought it would be a bit more because it's here at the elani mm -hmm. i thought it'd be a bit more cartoony it's not at no. all nope. very it felt very authentic yes it, it was just real right and now uh tomorrow we have a full day planned outside of the resort yes yeah mm -hmm. so be sure to stay tuned for that Do any shout outs, i do uh happy shantiversary kim 
Warren, Kelsey, and Sarah. We saw you right out here at the El Lani. Yes. Thank you so much for everyone who said hi to us here at the El Lani. Yes. And, and especially all the cast members that came out to us. Right. Everybody seen us in our Vegas videos. They, That's right. Yeah, all uh, of these cast Vegas members. Vegas is popular here in yes, Hawaii. Yes, right? it is, it is. Yeah. So thank you again for saying hi. Again, if you see us, just come and say hi. Yes, mm -hmm. so that wraps up day two. We're having a great time here. Oh my gosh. And, and the families loves it. And we're enjoying every single day. Mm -hmm. Days are not going by fast. We are completely taking it easy. And it's vacation nice. mode. And right? vacation mode. So until yes. our next Hawaii adventure, we'll catch you guys in the next one.